grade 7 math, number 1.3a, subtracting integers. We're going to do a real quick review here. An integer is a whole number, it's a counting number, and it's opposite. If it's a negative 6, his opposite is positive 6. When we add them together, they make zero pairs, don't they? All right, so please remember this rule. For subtracting integers, we add the opposite. For subtracting integers, we add the opposite. A negative 6 minus 2, well, we know this is a positive 2. Do you know how I know? If it was a negative 2, this would be written like this. And it would be in parentheses to separate it from its uh, subtraction sign, wouldn't, wouldn't it? But it's not. So this is a negative 6 minus a positive 2. All right? So what's the opposite of positive 2? It's negative 2. And since we're adding the opposite, that minus sign needs to become a plus sign. So our equation becomes negative 6 plus negative 2. We know how to do that from the last video. When the signs are the same, when we're adding, we just add them together. 6 plus 2 is 8. And we take the sign of the shared like signed add-ins. So it's a negative 8. When we subtract integers, we add the opposite integer. We change the minus sign to a plus sign, and we change the second integer into its opposite. If it's a negative, it goes to a positive. If it's a positive, it goes to a negative, okay? I know this is confusing, so stick with me. We've got lots of examples. We have a negative 6 minus 2. Okay, I know that's a positive 2 because it's not in parentheses. So that positive 2 is going to become a negative 2, and that minus sign is going to become a plus sign. Now we've got negative 6 plus negative 2. When you're at negative 6 and you're adding a negative 2, this tells us what direction to go into. It says to go minus 2. So we're going to go 1, 2, and we end up with a negative 8. See? Now that was starting with a negative 6. If we start with a positive 5 and we take away a negative 3, now this is a negative 3. See, it's in parentheses. This is going to become a plus sign because we're adding the opposite and the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Look at that. We learned that in first grade, 5 plus 3. If you're at the 5 and you want to add 3, we go 1, 2, 3. We're at positive 8, aren't we? Okay? So I'll show you some more examples. All right? Stick with me. Negative, um, we have a positive 4 and we're taking away a negative 7. Okay? We need to add the opposite. So that subtraction sign becomes a plus sign, and the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. We have 4 plus 7. First grade, 4 plus 7 is 11. See? No problem. And the signs become the same, we just add them together. See? Look at this one. Negative 6 minus negative 1. Well, we know the subtraction sign becomes a plus sign, and we know that minus 1 becomes its opposite of plus 1. So now we've got negative 6 plus 1. Well, the signs become different, don't they? And you remember the rule? When the signs are different and we're adding, signs are different, we find the difference. The difference between a 6 and a 1 is 5. And which sign do we use? We use the one with the larger absolute value, the one farthest from 0. And 6 is farther from 0, and it's got a negative sign. So this is going to be a negative 5. Okay? See? Let's try another one. Negative 8 minus 2. Now we know that that's a positive 2 because it's not in parentheses, is it? And that minus sign is going to become a plus sign because we're adding the opposite, and the opposite of a positive 2 is a negative 2. Now we've got negative 8 plus negative 2. The signs become the same. We just add the 8 and the 2. We get 10, right? And we take the sign of the shared add-ins. They both are negative, so our answer is negative. See? Is it starting to make sense? Here's one that's a little tricky. We've got 0 minus a negative 5. Well, we're going to add the opposite, so that subtraction sign is going to become a plus sign, and the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. I know you can do this one, can't you? What's 0 plus 5? It's 5, right? So, this is what we need to remember. To subtract an integer, you add the opposite, all right? Try to remember this rule. This is huge. To subtract an integer, add the opposite. And then here's the other one. To add the different signs, find the difference 
between them. So remember my, my two pink different difference. If you're adding different signs, you find the difference. And then you just use the sign of the greater absolute value, right? The one farthest from zero. All right, let me show you how you do this with counters. So just like in the last video, we can use green and red counters to help us with integers. If we have a negative four and we're taking away a negative two, well, that means we're just taking away two of these guys, aren't we? We're subtracting two of the negatives. So we just take two counters away. Our answer is two red ones, and red means negative, so our answer is a negative two. See? Now, if we have six green ones, six positive ones, and we want to take away eight red ones, we don't have eight red ones, do we? There's no red ones to take away. It says take away eight red ones from this. Well, if we add the opposite, this minus sign becomes a plus sign, and that becomes a plus 8, and we get 6 plus 8. So we can just add 8 green counters, and now we've got 14 green counters, don't we? See? Now, how can we do this if we want to use green and red counters? We can also do this by adding zero pairs. So you can either just add the opposite and add the green counters like we did here, or you can actually add zero pairs. If you start with five green ones and you need to take away six red ones, what you can do is add six zero pairs and then take away the six red ones. See, we don't take away the zero pairs. We add the zero pairs and draw them on and then we have six red ones to take away and that leaves us with what? five and six green ones. That makes 11 positive green counters. All right, let's look at this one. We'll do it the same way as this one so you can see. We start with three red chips and we need to take away six positive ones. It's not in parentheses, okay? So we need to take away six positive ones. So what we do is we add six zero pairs. Now we can take away the six positive ones, see? And we're left with three and six red ones, we're left with nine red ones, and because they're red, they're negative, see? So you can either do it this way by adding the zero pairs, or you can just do your chips and add the opposite. I'd rather you added the opposite because that's the rule, okay? So to subtract an integer, we add the opposite, and when we're adding different signs, we find the difference, and then we use the greater absolute value sign, the one that's farthest from zero. Okay? Stay with me. I know this is confusing. Take notes. Write things like this down neatly inside your uh, cover of your spiral or someplace that you'll be able to look at it quickly. Just write little notes like this and like this, okay? So you can reflect back on them and make sure you write them neatly because I've written things and in the future haven't been able to read my own handwriting because I wrote so fast. So be kind to your future self and write your notes neatly, okay? I'll see you next video. I'm going to do some word problems. Bye.